What is going on? This is Cody, and you are tuned to B-Boy 45, broadcasting from the Seacrest Studios. We have got a very special treat for you. It is another special edition of the latest news to keep you in the groove with Maya. Maya, why is today's edition so special? Because Gavin Lewis is calling in. Gavin Lewis! Woo! We are so excited to have you as a repeat visitor to Maya's show. Welcome back. How are you? I'm very good. Thank you so much for having me back. All right. Well, Maya, take it away, girl. Okay. So first of all, just it's so nice to um, talk to you again. And um, you've been really busy since you last called in. Um, and so I have a few questions about your most recent projects or project. Um so you play Moody in the Hulu series Little Fires Everywhere with Reese Witherspoon and Carrie Washington, which um, is so cool. Um, so how did the opportunity to be part of this project come about? Uh, well, at first it started off kind of just like any other audition, um, but I really resonated with the character of the material. I read through the scripts the first time uh, pretty early on in the process and uh, the excellent writing along with the names attached, I was pretty interested right off the bat. Um, and then I got very, very lucky that um, they, they thought I matched the moody they had in their minds um, and everything kind of just went from there. And it was a quick audition process from start to finish. It was about a week. Oh, wow. Yeah. Um, so... Uh, can you relate to Moody in any way? Yeah. Um, I think we're both probably a little more on the introverted side, um, but I think I definitely li like people on the whole more than Moody. <laughs> yeah. Um, I always... Uh, there's a friend I always text when I go in phases where, like, I'm really social and then when I'm just, like, don't talk to me. Um, so I always I always have a friend that I text that when I'm just, like, so frustrated with people. And I'm just, like, I don't like people right now. I get it. I get it. Um, so... Yeah. Um, so did you have a favorite episode to film? Uh, I did. The, probably the very last episode. Um, because there was some really fun, like, emotional material I got to play with. Um, and minor spoilers, there was a fight scene, uh, which I love filming. I've, I've enjoyed doing fight choreography for a long time, and it was a really good opportunity to get to sort of try it out and what i thought was cool was that they uh they brought in stunt doubles but we did pretty much all of the fight scene ourselves which made me very happy oh that's cool <laughs> yeah um yeah uh we don't have hulu but a friend told me you can do a free trial for a week and so i'm just i told my mom i was like we have to find a week where we have nothing to do so we can just watch like little fires everywhere and all these different things on hulu <laughs> so um so have you discovered any new hobbies or talents during quarantine Actually, I have been picking up a couple new things lately. Um, I've got my big old desktop right behind the camera over there that I've been starting to do um, some like 3D art and some 3D rendering on, which I think is a ton of fun. I've always liked computers, and so that one kind of uh, came naturally for me. And I picked up golf, which is something I did when I was really little and then never really came back to. But uh, at the new place out here, we used to live in L.A. pretty much full-time. Uh, but then the pandemic happened and the industry sort of shut down. So we came down to the small town of St. George, Utah. Um, and right next to our house is a driving range. And I thought I'd give it a shot. And I really, really liked it. So I've been golfing. Oh, cool. That's fun. Um, so is there a show that you've been, wa that you've been binge watching during quarantine to help pass the time yes um 
actually, Adventure Time was a show that I used to love, and then it was another one of those ones I used to love, and then I kind of didn't come back to it, and then uh, just recently during quarantine, I've sort of just gone through the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, cool. Yeah, um, we've been, so at the beginning of quarantine, we binged watch the Netflix show Outer Banks. Mm-hmm. Um, and then my mom and I have been, uh, now we've been watching Frasier, and we just started re-watching Royal Pains on Peacock. Nice. So, yeah, so we've been, yeah, we've been doing a lot of movie watching and binge watching TV shows. I so. love it. Yeah, that's the way to pass. Yeah. Um, so, is there a song that's um, been on replay on your playlist? Oh, yes, there has. Um, it's, oh boy, I'm going to forget the name of it now. It's, um, the artist's name is Aesop Rock. Um, he's a rapper, and it's, uh, it's a, um, it's a song about his cat, and it makes me laugh. Oh. <laughs> oh cool. Um, yeah, I've got, I never, like, you, I always liked musical theater, but I never, like, loved these soundtracks. And then over quarantine, I found soundtracks that I've had on repeat. So I think I've been driving my mom and my sister a little bit crazy because they're on all the time. So I know. I always find like a song or an album that I love and then obsess over for like a month. And I'm sure yeah. I drive everyone in my house crazy. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, uh, what do you do to cheer yourself up when you're having a bad day? Um, I tend to either, like, call or text a friend or um, just kind of do something I like doing. Like, I'll get on and play some video games or... Um, Actually, a good one for me is doing some homework. I, I'm taking two classes right now that I really actually enjoy, um, and it's been a good one to uh, just kind of me if I'm ever feeling down. Oh, cool. Yeah, I took a class last year that I actually, that I really liked, and I never um, cared if I, like, I never uh, mind minded having homework in that class because I actually really enjoyed it. It's a good feeling. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's a good feeling when you're not dreading doing it. Mm -hmm. but I told my sister over the weekend because my only homework was to watch just Mercy. And so I told her, I was like, can't my homework every weekend just be to watch a movie? <laughs> that would be nice. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, so, do you have a pre-audition ritual? Probably just, it's super funny. I, for some reason, have always, for as long as I can remember, memorized in the bathroom. And I don't know why that's always been the spot. But I get a script, I run to the bathroom, shut the door, and I kind of just pace back and forth as I memorize. Um, and then it's just working with my parents, actually, who have been some of my biggest acting coaches. Um, both my parents are in theater, so they, they help me with material. Oh, cool. Yeah. Um, so if you could hang out with any TV character for a weekend, who would it be and why? Who, who, that is a good question. Oh, see, I feel like this is the perfect answer out there, and I'm going to miss it. <laughs> see, I want to say, I want to say Rick Sanchez from Rick and Morty, but I feel like he would probably get me killed. That might have to be my choice, because time travel and, like, teleportation would be pretty, pretty cool. <laughs> oh, cool. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I, uh... Uh, so since we started rewatching Royal Pains, I forgot like how obsessed I was with that show. 
So I'm like, become, so I like became obsessed with it all over again. So it would probably be the characters from that show that I want to hang out with. I love it. Those are, <laughs> that's some good choices. Thank you. Um, so my last question for you is who do you feel um, is the most inspiring person in your life? I, this is kind of a two-part answer. It's the first part's very cliche, and it's definitely my parents. Um, I I wouldn't be able to do anything that I do in the acting arena without them. Um, and they've both given me a lot of knowledge on just all of acting and a lot of guidance, uh, and I really, really appreciate them for it. And then, uh, as far as people I don't know. Actors, I really, really like um, Benedict Cumberbatch. I think he's super talented. Um, and he's always been sort of a, hey, if there was a goal in acting, who, who do I want to be like? Uh, he's probably pretty high on the list. And then Meryl Streep, of course. Um, I actually haven't seen her do a ton until pretty recently, but she's incredible. Yeah. I, um, I love her movie, The Devil Wears Prada. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, that's probably, like, she is amazing. That's probably one of my favorite movies of hers. Yeah, yeah, it's been a while since I've seen it. I actually want to go rewatch that. Cool, yeah, uh, yeah, it's really good. <laughs> um, so, well, thank you so much for calling in again. It was so fun to talk to you again and to actually like see you <laughs> yeah of course yeah it was a lot of fun i would be i would happy to be coming back anytime okay yeah i'd love to have you back whenever you want to definitely so okay excellent cool. thank you so much thank you have a good one thanks you gavin too. bye bye yeah. take care